know what is popping YouTube, but it's your boy B here, bringing you guys another video. Today we are going to be explaining the Gunsmith and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I'm going to be explaining to you guys how the attachments work this year and everything else when it comes to guns. I'm going to be showing you guys that right now, but before I do, hit that like button, hit that sub button, and definitely comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys, you know, if you guys want me to do something else like this, explaining something in Modern Warfare, I'd be happy to do that for you guys. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So we're gonna go right over here to the weapons, which you unlock at level four. At level four, you unlock your weapons, just like every Call of Duty, you unlock it at level four. Um, once you go into here, right, you're gonna have uh, you know your standard five classes, whatever you wanna choose um, for whatever guns you have unlocked, of course. Um, let's say we go into, what's the gun I use a lot right now? I'm using the MP7, the M13 is the highest one I have right now. So as you guys can see, when you click on the M13, you can click on primary and you got all your weapons, right? You got all the different weapons and all this good stuff, right? But if you go into the, if you scroll to the right over here, you guys can see gunsmith right here. You click on gunsmith and there's gonna be a whole bunch of different things for you, right? As you level up your weapon, as you guys can see, my next unlock will be a tactical uh, grip for the underbow right there at level 31 for this gun. So in my next level up for this gun, I get another weapon. So as you level up your gun, you get different um, attachments. Also, you get perks this year on your guns, which is pretty nice. So here's some of the perks. So heavy hitter, melee produces greater set on targets. You got recons, uh, recon, see enemy name plays at greater distances. You got uh, frangible dash wounding. Bullets cause target tilling to be briefly delayed. You have fully loaded, start with maximum reserve ammo, and then you have sleight of hand, training and reloading faster when under pressure. So those all do different things, which is pretty nice. Now, then you go into the grip. Um, this is the only grip I have right now, which is the pistol grip. So I have a uh, faster ADS, but my idle sway control is pretty bad. Um, my, and then I have extended mag. Uh, you know, you get all these grips. So, you know, you could even get a freaking bipod. Um, I personally wouldn't use a bipod. That's just me. Um, I don't. I don't want it. But this is some of the grips right here. Um, also, here are some of the attachments. So you got. Ooh, I didn't even know I had this. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't even know I had that. Um, give me my aim down side speed. Better aim down side speed. So when you do have these attachments, they do have pros and cons to these attachments, mind you. So, for example, tactical suppressor. You're gonna have great sound suppression, but the aim down side speed is gonna be bad, and the aim gun steadiness is gonna be bad. Or it's just gonna it's gonna lower. It's not gonna be bad. It's just gonna lower. Um, and then you have another suppressor, like say how I just got it. Even though I have this lightweight suppressor, my damage range is bad, but the sound suppression. Um, is still there, but I'm not losing that aim down sight speed like this one will make me lose. Now, you have stuff like the flash guards, precious the flash of your weapon to help keep your target visible and your position concealed. Um, you know, gives you bad aim down sight, or it lowers the aim down sight speed as you guys can see there. Um, same with the muzzle brake and, you know, same with the compressor. Um, it kind of sucks for some of these that a lot of it, it's going to be your gun steadiness and your ADS is gonna be bad, but I guess it's just to keep everything balanced. Um, now if we see preview my weapon, this is what my weapon looks like. And it changes as you guys are putting these attachments on, so your weapon's always gonna look different. It's never gonna look the same, which is pretty cool. You can make the AK-47 look like a Draco. Um, for those of you who don't know what a Draco is, it's just basically a mini AK-47. Um, now, you have stuff like here, like the barrel. So you could have a, a light integral suppressor, so you're gonna get you know, sound suppression again, and you're gonna get added in downside speed, which I kind of want. So I'm gonna remove the extended mag because this thing already gets. Oh, so it's just gonna switch it. Interesting. Hold on. Oh, bless it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I keep getting distracted, guys. I just wanted to see what the difference between these two was, but I still get the sound suppression, which is nice. Now, um, I right hear for the barrel. I just unlocked it. Uh, I guess too. I never knew even knew I had this. Uh, the light integral suppressor here, so you know, it'll give you sound suppression and it'll give you greater aim down ADS, which I'm trying to get as great as ADS as possible. I don't really care about the range. This M13 is broken, by the way. For those of you who haven't used this gun yet, this M13, absolutely broken. Best gun in the game. So, you know, lasers, um, better hit fire accuracy, obviously. I'm sure there'll be more lasers. I just haven't unlocked them yet because this is a assault rifle. Um, and you have your optics. Look how many optics there are. There are an insane amount of optics. Um, just for what I've unlocked so far. I don't know what the exact level of the gun goes to, but sorry about that. Um, it, it's just crazy with the, the, the amount of attachments you can get and you know how many attachments there there really are. Um, just, just, just like I said, just look at the ones for the optics. There's a, there's a ton and you know, here's the stock right here. 
Um, ADS movement speed is a little bit better. Um, I don't really care for that. But like I said, you see how it changes the gun? You see the stock right there compared to that stock? It changes it every time, um, which is pretty cool. Now, you could only have five attachments uh, on your gun at one time. You guys can see here, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. There are nine things I could put on my gun, but I could only have five. So you kind of got to pick and choose what you want. Um, I'm sure that you may be able to get more attachments on your gun. There might be a perk for that. I'm not entirely sure if there's um, another perk for you to have that or if there's there's something there. But um, for the most part, there's not. Um, these are all the perks we have so far. But um, that's pretty much just how the gun uh, gunsmith works. Like I'll show you it for a SMG. So we'll go into my MP7 here, right? And you have to see, you know, I got the pistol grip, standard mag, four grip. I could have. One of the two four grips doesn't really matter which one I want. Um, the Neo, the suppressor, all this other stuff here. Yes, let's see. This is pretty much just how you know the gun works. Uh, or the oh, see this gives you. You see how it has plus uh, plus one hip fire accuracy too. I forgot to mention that. And then this laser will give you plus two. So the attachments might even give you. They'll give you better hip fire accuracy um, depending on the attachment, or it may even give you uh, worse con depending on the attachment. Now, as you guys can see here, a whole bunch of red dots. I, I believe all these guns are, for the most part, gonna be able to get the same red dot sights, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's, that's really about it for, you know, the, the gunsmith here. This, this, that's great. basically it, ex, it explained, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple. Um, there's nothing too much to go into it about it. Um, this is just me explaining it, how it works now. Like I said, uh, you unlock uh, new attachments as you unlock the gun. That's how you that's how you get your attachments now. Um, you also get perks for your gun that you can choose from. Um, and I guess Modern Warfare is updating. Okay. Um, and so, oh, Skulk. So this is back. But um, this is on SMGs, it looks like. So, you know, crouch prone movement speed. And then there is FMJ um, on some of these guns. Like I said, not all the guns get the same attachments or the same perks um, for the most part, it's looking like. Um, so. That's basically just how uh, all this works, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, hit that sub button, um, comment down below. This is just the Gunsmith explain for you guys, and you know how everything works. So, anyway, y'all, this has been a know with your boy B. I'ma hit it from the back. I'ma pull up on a nigga with a bitch pussy wet up in the lake. Young corn got a nigga bitch pound to the sea in the back of the new car, no pay. Got more loud than a parade.